For customers with an ES3050 PCB or an ES1000 PCB, there may come a time when your receiver, though the power light is on, and you hear it click when you press your remote, it does not activate the gate opener. The first thing to figure out is whether it's the receiver or the control board. The way to do this, remove the plug and test by jumping between the second and third pin from the bottom using a small screwdriver. This should activate the gate. In this scenario, it is not activating the gate. It would look like this normally if I touch between those two pins. This means because we hear the clicking on the receiver, the receiver is probably fine. It's probably this output. One key note, if this is a new installation and this is not working during the new installation, we make every attempt to warn you, do not plug this in before connecting these wires to these terminals because if the wire that goes into this terminal and the wire that goes into this terminal ever touch, it will short out the board and this connection will stop working. However, if you've done this, it's not a big deal because we can wire it into the bottom. This is isolated on the control board. To wire this receiver into the bottom accessory ports, we are going to need four wires instead of three. If you don't have any wire handy, you can always trim this wire into two separate wires. That's what we're going to do here. Find approximately half the distance and cut the wire. Remove all the wires from the receiver, including the bottom jumper wire. The only wire we're going to leave in is the antenna. It's very important to remove this jumper wire when wiring in the accessory terminals on the bottom. What we've done is use two of the three wires on our shorter pieces of the original receiver wire. We cut the plug off the end. For the relay, which is the second and third pin labeled CH1, they're both labeled CH1, I decided to use the white and the green. This is going to go to the push block on push one and common. I went ahead and wired it. I'm going to plug that block in. I used the second piece of wire. I used the green and the black. My green is my positive. My black is my negative. I did this on the photocell block. Black going to ground, GND. Green going to V positive. Notice that the safety jumper is still in place. If you are not using a photo eye, you would have installed a safety jumper. You will leave the safety jumper in place on here. You will not need to reprogram your remotes. Now that we have it wired, you can see that the light is on. And press the remote. You hear the click and the board is activated.